Welcome back to our October edition of What's Up Stratford. Joining me is Eva Hayes from the House of Blessing. Eva, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. So House of Blessing is largely known in our community, but just give us an overall view of what does the House of Blessing do and how does it help people in our community? The House of Blessing has evolved over a number of years. At this point, our main focus is uh, food bank. Um, we can do a number of things, but we want to focus on doing one thing well. Uh, we do have a few wraparound programs, but our main focus is food bank and ensuring that those in our community do not go hungry. And you're a nonprofit, a, a charitable organization. How do you acquire the food? Our food is... Um, we, we purchase when we need to, but our donations come largely from individuals, from churches, and from foundations. Uh, our community, we really depend on our community to support what we do. We are not government funded. Uh, municipal government will supply a little bit for diapers and formula, but we're not provincial or federally funded, so we completely depend on our community. Uh, to support us and provide either actual food donations uh, that we can share or financial donations, which allows us to go purchase what we need. Perfect. So you have people that come in uh, to your food bank. How often is it open? We are open uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday from 10 o'clock to 3. And folks can come in uh, during that time. We do. We are open five days a week for those who are unhoused, um, and we ensure that they uh, receive food every day because they don't have the capability of cooking. So they can come in every day and get a little bit to get them through the day. Um, but once a month, our food bank is open. Um, our people can come once a month to receive donations, and and that's open for three days. Uh, during the week. And how many people would you be serving in the community? That's a very good question. That number is increasing. I know that I have a stats here, actually. Uh, in 2022, we served uh, a total of 11,485 people in the year. Wow. Yes. Okay, I'm glad you had those stats handy. Yes. That's fascinating. Let's talk about this uh, this month in October. You have your your awesome Empty Bowls fundraiser. Tell us about uh, what to expect for that. Yes, Empty Bowls has always been our signature fundraiser. Uh, it has always been a large event. This year, it's going to look very, very different because the our fundraiser is brand new this year and I am brand new this year. So we needed to get our feet wet and to experience empty bowls before we really get into a big way with it. So we are having a smaller event this year. It's limited edition um, and it will be first, first come, first served. And we will be holding it here at the Stratford House of Blessing uh, uh, in October. There will be lots of promotion going out regarding that very shortly. Uh, those who do come to purchase bowls will also be offered a tour of the building. Many people know we're here and know what we do, but they've never been inside the building. So we're going to offer tours for those who, who have the time or would like uh, to have a tour and just hear what we do and where the money goes and, and how we um, how we spend the, their donations. Yes, and you mentioned the word volunteers before. Huh? Do you have a need for volunteers currently? We always have a need for volunteers. Yes, we would not function without our volunteer base. Uh, we are a very small team of staff and without the volunteers, we could not function. They are critical uh, to our processes, absolutely. And uh, we're always, always open to new volunteers. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you very much, Eva. Thank you for joining me today. And we wish you great success with your Empty Bowl fundraiser. Thank you very much. Thank you.
I'm Peter Maraja, your host of What's Up Stratford. Thanks for watching this show and make it a great day.